when you are on a mission. When you are doing the things that you want to do. Prepare to lose friends. Prepare to lose people in your family. Prepare to lose women. Because you're going to evolve so far past of what their heads can even comprehend. Some people's going to turn into haters. Some people's going to turn into debtors. Welcome to the life of a chosen one. Because you don't want to be like everybody else. And it's not even that you, you know, it's not even that you don't want to be like everybody else. Well, yes. You just want to become who you're supposed to become. You just want to be what God has put you on earth to be. And that's enough to not want to be like everybody else because everybody else does not want that for themselves. But you do. And this is why it's normal to lose friends. It is normal to lose people that surround you. That is very normal. People can come around you, bro, act in a certain way as if they know something. They don't want to listen to you. They don't want to have a calm, cool, collective conversation. They are in denial. They can't talk about anything real. It disturbs them. But you can sit there. It's, it's like it's comfort to you. Uncomfortable conversations is comfortable to me. I love that kind of shit, bro. The basic stuff, it's like, it's uncomfortable because it's so boring. It's so bland. I would rather live with purpose. I would rather live for something. I would rather do things that people are just like, oh my God, they're afraid of. I like to speak the truth. I like, it. it it's in me to be that way. And I fully understand that not everybody is the same. Like there's a lot of people in the world that is the same, but then there's the individuals that's very different. And you just so happen to fall under the category of being very different than everybody else. It's like people's lives stop. It's like they're the same people all the time. And it's like you used to fit in better when you were younger because it's like everyone's kind of coming up, learning new things. And it's, it's way more positive. It's, it's better. But it gets to a point where people stop and they decline. And it's like, you want to reach the next level and then the next and then the next and then the next. They didn't want to. They wanted to stop. And it's like, all right, but I ain't going to stop. And this is what they disagree with. They disagree with you. They don't think you should. They think you should stay right there. And keep being miserable with them. But that's what it is to us. It's miserable. If we were to stay there with them, it's miserable. And it's very fulfilling becoming the person that you're supposed to be. But it sucks being back there with everybody else. And it's a hard path elevating yourself up. And it absolutely sucks around that crowd. The worst thing you will do is be weak and stay with the crowd. The best decision you will ever make is setting yourself apart. And yes, you're going to have to lose friends. You're going to have to maybe even be broke for a while. You're going to have to lose family. You're going to have to lose women. You're going to have to lose your damn mind sometimes, but it is all worth it. And then you reign supreme over the average. And that's not the goal in itself, but you do. Because you've done things, you've experienced things, you've lived through things that they just 
haven't. They see your position. Oh, and they all these excuses. They want to be you so bad. They want the things you got. They want to be who you are. They want the confidence that you have. And it's like broke people that want to be rich. I want to be rich one day. Uh, da, 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 but they're never going to be because they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to make the change. And whatever it is that you want, you're willing to change. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to lose people, friends, family, women, whatever it might be. You're willing to put in the work, which a lot of other people are not. And that's the separator. You live that way for such a long time. And everything changes. Life comes down to our decision making, guys. It's whatever you want. But you have to really want it. Like, do you just kind of want it? Or do you like really want it? Like, this is how it has to be. The things I want. This is how it absolutely has to be. Has to. Otherwise, I can't even live. I can't even function properly. I'll have problems and issues and worries and fears and concerns if I don't do that. What you have to have is what you will end up having. If you just kind of want it, if you just kind of want to be a millionaire, you're not going to. That's just a random ass example. If you really want to, when it's like, I will, I, uh, I can't function without it, whatever it is that you want to do, then that's your answer. If you have to have it to function, you will, you will get it. I bet you any money, if you had no water, you could find some water because you need it to function. And if you want something that bad, you will, you will end up achieving that one thing that you want that bad, whatever it might be. And most people in the world, folks, they're just all right with just enough to squeak by. They live with their worries, fears, concerns, and they don't, they don't go forward in life like a complete animal. And do the things they really want to do to get the things they really want because they just live in fear and worry and concern. They are sick. They do just enough. They never give it their all. They never have that courage. They never ever go for anything. And that's just not who you are. And when that's not who you are, expect to lose friends. It is normal. Expect to lose family. It is normal. Expect to lose women. It is normal. Or if you're a woman, expect to lose men. It is normal. They're not going to understand you. There's going to be a very small percentage of people on earth who understand you. And the rest is not going to. But when it's all said and done, People will start to clue in a little bit and understand a little bit what's going on with yourself. They will. And it doesn't mean they're going to like it. It doesn't mean they're going to like you. But at least they understand. Because for a long time, you're going to be misunderstood. Completely overlooked. People have no idea who you are, what's going on with yourself, what you're doing, what's going to happen with you. At least as time goes on and you start to really put the pieces of the puzzle together, people's going to understand. Okay. Not that they're going to like it. And some might. Some will, actually. In fact, when you become who God has put you on earth to be, you're going to become much more attractive to the people that actually matter. And even the people that hate on you, they still find you attractive with their hate. It's like, it's love and hate at the same time. They just can't help but to be jealous of 
you for the changes you've made and the things you've done in your life. For the courage that you actually had. You have no stones unturned like for real. You're going to become a top percent person on earth who is at that level of attraction that a lot of people cannot hit. When you go after things in life. When you make life what it has to be. There's so many things it shows. It shows your sheer will and determination. You're confident. You trust in yourself. You're a safe person. You're a good bet. There's a there's a many different reasons why that makes you a very attractive person. Even being male or female. Especially being male. It's not always going to be this way at first. But the tables always turn. As you keep going, things are going to change in front of your own two eyes and you're going to see it unfold. You're going to see it. But you got to keep going. You got to keep improving. You got to keep changing. You can't just want something. Oh, don't don't want anything. Focus on the 24 hours that's in front of you and everything that you want and desire will come to you. Stop focusing on an outcome. Who even cares? The only thing you should care about is the time that's in front of you right now to become the person you're supposed to be. Because guess what? There's people out there we want nothing to do with because they're just not our cup of tea. And there's some people that were not their cup of tea. But we have a cup of tea and that's the tea we want to drink, right? Vice versa for other people. This means you put in the work. This means focusing on the 24 hours that's in front of you being present all the time. Getting better at that. That's what it comes down to because that's how everything else comes. Nothing's going to come just because you want it to. I want this. It's not going to help you get it. Like it takes action. It takes a prolonged time. It takes focusing on the 24 hours that's in front of you right now. It's about getting better with the day that is in front of you right now. Start getting better with the days you have that's in front of you right now. Get better at working out. Get better at eating healthier. Get better at avoiding bad substances. Get better at speaking. Get better at whatever it is that you have to get better at. It's going to make you better, obviously. But you're forever going to suck if you can't get better with the 24 hours that's in front of you. Get better with your days. Get better with your efficiency. When you're this kind of person, when you do these kinds of things, you will lose a shitload of people. A shitload of people, because most people don't have that drive. Most people don't have that desire. Most people don't care enough. Most people think I'm just existing. Most people just exist. Take me as I am. And I guess that's fine. But I'm not going to just take you as you is because I'm not going to put up with any BS. I'm not that kind of person myself. I demand the world out of myself. I demand out of myself what God has truly put me here to be. And I want that in others. Whether it's a chick, whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's my damn dog, you're going to be taught a damn lesson. And I ain't just going to talk to you, put up with you. If you're toxic, if you're full of BS, why? If you're not my cup of tea, why? Why? From a non-egotistical standpoint, you're not on my wavelength. Just not. I've put in a ridiculous amount of work. 
and we will see who you is when you're right in front of me. And that's when everything is going to unfold. Are you just a clown? Or can I actually talk some, some sense in you? Like, can you even listen? You don't have to be the best. But can, can you do basic things? Can we have a good conversation where it's positive? Even if it's me teaching you a whole bunch of stuff, like, are you a good listener? Because to me, that's a good time. I could be far, far, far ahead in you life. That don't matter. As long as you're a good listener, as long as you're a positive person and you're willing to improve, that's all that matters. It really don't matter where you're at. What matters is just who you are and who you're willing to become and who you're willing to be. It's not about how not far along you are right now. It's more so about what you're willing to actually do. Who are you willing to become? And are you going to show me that through your actions? Most people in society today, folks, they don't even have a standard. They literally don't even have a standard. It's like, I'll just be friends with anybody. I'll just talk to anybody. And you can have some associates and talk to people like that and it's going to be no big deal. I do it all the time. But it's like, are you actually like friends, friends? Like, do you hang out? Do you spend quality time together? Do you do you do adventurous shit? Are you ambitious together? Are you killing it together? The same thing is like, let's say a chick you might be talking to, like, does she want to grow with you? Does she want to keep her legs closed? And possibly only open them up for you? Does she talk to other men? Is she a red flag? Does she do crazy shit? Is she a crazy lunatic? Because a lot of women today, they pose to be some, I'm different than the rest. I'm special. And there's not one even close thing that makes you that. In fact, you're worse than the rest. Like, are you kidding me, mate? Like, are you actually kidding me? Like, what are you even thinking by saying that? Because your actions don't line up with that. You're actually a head case. You're actually crazy. And you say that kind of shit. Like these are the facts. Like what really sets you apart as this quality woman you say you are. Your legs aren't closed. You do talk to other men. You are an attention whore. You feed off us men who have value. But you don't want to be committed in the right ways. There's certain things you don't want to give up. You don't want to be a real woman. But these women go all to the real men. They want something from him. They want something from them. Da -da 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 -da. And that's not how the fucking works around here. We have entitled people today and every single one of them become losers because they thought they were just so good as they existed. They didn't think they had to commit in certain ways to make themselves valuable to another person. They didn't see it that way because they're just special, right? Are you putting in the work to make yourself that? Are you what somebody else wants who is valuable? Like, are you or do you just think you are? Because that is the only effing thing that matters. That is it. That is the only thing that matters. <laughs> it is a clown world today, folks. It is a clown world today. And people really think they're fooling us, too, which is even more hilarious. Like... <laughs> You'll never know what I know. <laughs> You'll never know what I know. And I love every bit of it. I love every second of it. You can say whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. I know things that you don't even know that I know. And it's amazing. <laughs> People overlook us, bro. 
they really do be overlooking us. They don't want to give us that credit. They don't think that we're nearly as good as we actually are. Like, they just don't. And that's their own downfall. It's only going to get better for us. And it is in real time. Trust and believe me. It is. As for all these others, it's only going to get worse. And guess what? It is in real time. I've predicted many things before. And I'm telling you full well what's happening. I'll even have a lot more to say pretty soon on some solid predictions. I just find it comical what's actually going to go down. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. The wrath of God is here. The truth is coming to light. And all these individuals that want to do things the wrong way, they're going to be executed. Executed. You're in for a shock. A whole ass nightmare is coming your way. And I don't even want that to happen to you, to be honest. But it's the reality of how things work, guys. Like, <laughs> it really is. It really, really is. People have no clue what they're getting themselves into, bro. And the only thing that matters is what you know what you're getting yourself into by having the 24 hours you have on a daily basis with what you're going to do with your time to make life into what you want it to be. You can reject anything you want. You can take on anything you want. You as him. And you can demand these things because of who you've become. By the work you put in. Unfazed, calm, cool, collected, confident, very sure of yourself. Wait for it. 